In this lesson we're going to have a look at downloading extra fonts onto our PCs that we can use in Canvas Workspace. So the first thing we need to do is go to our internet browser and just type in the word font or fonts or font download anything that's got the word font in it and you'll see that your internet browser will then find you a whole lot of websites that have got fonts that you can download from. Now the first one up at the top here the 1001 free fonts is the one that I use a lot as well as the font. There are lots of others though so scroll through and see which one suits your needs best. But for this lesson I'm going to go to the 1001 free fonts and open that website. Now on the opening page generally you'll find that they have the most popular or the newest fonts available for you here. But if you go up to the top, there are alphabetically organized fonts. So if you want a curly font, a fancy font, an italic font, an old school font, whatever kind of font you want, there will be a category that suits you. So now I've clicked on the retro font and you'll see that it's opened up and it said that there are 775 retro fonts in that category. So you'll find them split over all of those pages. Now let's first take a quick look at the types of fonts that would be suitable and the ones that wouldn't be suitable for cutting. If we take a look at the first one up at the top here, this would be fine for drawing or writing on your scan and cut, but for cutting it might be a little bit too skinny. So if we scroll through you'll see this is also way too skinny to cut, but it would be fine to write or draw. However, something like this would be ideal to cut because it's more bold and more substantial. Now what we're going to do is in this lesson I'm going to avoid using or downloading a font where the letters are joined together. Okay, So that is your script type font. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download a font where you have individual letters. So I'm going to go to page 2 because I know that there's one on there. So let's go down and just have a look. Now you'll see these are all individual letters. Now this one would be ideal for cutting so I'm going to download that but just before I download there's something else that I want to show you. You'll see that next to the font is the download button. Now this one is free to download but there are some that will say buy a commercial license. If it says it's free, it's free for personal use. But if you are going to be using it for commercial use, then you need to consider buying the commercial license because the license will then explain to you exactly how you can use that particular font. Now there are also some that say they are free and obviously free for personal use but they also have a little box that says donate to the designer. Now generally whenever I see that I'd like to donate to the designer and it's very simple to do. You just pay via PayPal and give them a, a donation. Now the reason that I like to do that is because these people that have created these lovely fonts for us to use it would be nice to support them by giving them a donation. Now that's purely a personal thing but that's what I like to do. However I've decided I'm going to download this one because it's completely free to use. So let's go and download it. Now you can click on the actual font and it will open up and it will show you the character map and that will tell you exactly what is in that font collection and what the other thing that is very important to take note of is this little extension here that says TTF now that means it's a true type font now when you're using the canvas workspace it's best to find a font that says true type font 
so I'm quite satisfied now that this one will work because it is a true type font so I can just download that now you'll see that they also give you an outline and a shadow but I want just the basic one which is this the more bold one but you can go and have a look at what the others look like as well but I would just like the basic one so I'm going to say download now what will happen is it's downloaded it to here into my download folder so I just right click and say show in folder and there I see it so it is underneath my downloads and there it is so I want to take it out of the downloads so I'm just going to say cut then I'm going to go across to my desktop now on my desktop I've created a new folder for my scan and cut fonts so it's called scan and cut fonts so I open that and then I'm going to paste that file so there I've got my Titania file now you'll notice that when you download it's a zipped file so what that means is I'm going to have to unzip it before I can install it on my computer so the next thing I like to do is I make a new folder and I call it Titania and then I'm going to take that zipped file and I'm just going to left click and drag it and drop it into its folder so there it is there now the reason for that is that I'm going to unzip it now and then all the unzipped pieces are going to go into this folder so everything's grouped nicely together so I say open and then it's going to ask me if I want to unzip it there we go and I'll say yes unzip the file but please to a folder that I choose so it automatically defaults to this folder so I say unzip so now you'll see all of the little pieces get put together in that folder so everything is grouped together now when you download it downloads all of those files so it's the outline and the shadow but I had decided that this is the one I want so all I'm going to do is I click on that because it opens the file and there is my little install button so I click on install and it's going to now install it onto my computer so once that's done I can close this little box and I can close that so I can close all of these things and I can even close the 1001 free fonts now I'm going to go over to canvas workspace so I go to canvas workspace and I'm using the version for the PC in other words the version that is usable offline so let's just close this little box and that little box now if you aren't familiar with all of the little steps that I'm doing here please go and watch the video on the canvas workspace the offline version so now when it opens up you'll see it always defaults to the shapes being open so I'm just going to close those shapes by clicking on that icon and then I'm going to maximize this window so that it's easier for you to see I also want to zoom in a little bit more and now I'm ready to go and access my brand new Titania font so if I go to the text tool and I click on that it opens up a little drop down box and inside here are all of the fonts that are on my PC now I have installed that Titania so I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the T's and there I find it there now if I had opened canvas workspace and I hadn't installed Titania on my computer it obviously would not be there but since I've now installed it on my PC canvas workspace can access it so I click on that and now I can go and I can type in any word that I like with that Titania font 
So let's go and type in hello. And there you'll see it's Titania font. And then if I go to the little box next to it, I can make it bold or I could make it regular or I could make it um, oblique. So there are lots of choices there. But now once it's there, you'll see I can now take this word and I can transfer that over to my scan and cut machine and it's going to cut those letters out for me. So that is how easy it is to install fonts onto your computer for Canvas Workspace but it must be Canvas Workspace the one that's for the PC in other words the offline version because you cannot access your fonts on the online version. So once again, remember to go and look at the video for the Canvas online version and then the Canvas offline version so that you can become familiar with how we use those. But this video was just to show you how you can download extra fonts and put them onto your PC to use in Canvas Workspace. This was a quick video just to demonstrate downloading and installing extra fonts to your PC that you can use in Canvas Workspace. If you want to learn more about using different types of text and fonts in Canvas Workspace, see the link to that video in the description box below this video. Remember to click on the subscribe as well as the little bell icon and the like icon below this video so that you'll be the first to receive information as it becomes available.